So could you tell me which are the most promising areas in your research into antithrombotic agents that might not increase uh, bleeding? So I think there's two aspects. There's the, the, the antithrombotics that inhibit the contact pathway, so that's involved in obviously in clot formation. And then we've got the antithrombotic agents, which are more at a preliminary stage, which would potentially be developed towards the fibrinolytic cascade. And within the contact pathway, there is indecision in the field about whether to target factor 11 or factor 12 and what is the most appropriate target. One of the things that's confounding this research some, somewhat is the fact that mouse models are not di directly translatable into the, the, the human situation and so we need to have care needs to be taken that we are addressing these differences between what a model's an experimental model and what's going on in, in terms of humans. Mm -hmm. And uh, where do you see it going then? What's the future in, in the, the, the clinical? Personally, I, w I would like to see us focusing on fibrinolysis a lot more. Um, fibrinolysis has been largely ignored um, in, in current years. It's, it's considered to be a sort of bystander compared to coagulation. But actually, if we can harness our, our body is very efficient at get, getting rid of blood clots and naturally. And that's what this process evolved to do. So if we can harness the, um, the way in which our body does this, then we might end up with um, better drugs that can more um, with reduced bleeding complications. And and ultimately that's what we're striving for. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.